Hi, this is Phyllis Tarbox with Above and Beyond Christian Counseling, and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the five top demonic spirits that torment children of unwed parents. In the counseling office, I often hear my clients say things like, I never knew my father. He abandoned my mother when she got pregnant or my mom was illegitimate, it runs in our family. Or my mother hit her pregnancy, she was ashamed of me. I was not planned and I felt unwanted. I feel disconnected in church. I have trouble reading the Bible or even entering into worship. The top five demonic spirits that can hinder illegitimate children those born to parents out of wedlock are rejection, abandonment, insecurity, hiding, and shame. In Revelation 12 verse 4 we read, And the dragon stood before the woman who was ready to give birth to devour her child as soon as it was born. Satan will use any opening he can to bring demonic torment against the children of God. Illegitimacy and incest are the only two curses in the Bible that can affect 10 generations. A person of illegitimate birth shall not enter the assembly of the Lord, none of his descendants, even to the 10th generation. And that verse is Deuteronomy 23 verse 2 in the Amplified Version. From the inception of this curse, then, 10 generations would equal 2,048 descendants. Some of the latest statistics that were published by the Center for Disease Control show that 40.6% of all births are born to unmarried parents. That number is just astounding. And last year, that total number was 1,595,873 children. To break that down even a little bit more, we can go by ethnicity. 72.3% of non-Hispanic Blacks are born out of wedlock. 66.2% of American Indians and Alaska Natives, 53.3% of Hispanics, 29.1% of non-Hispanic Whites, and 17.2% of Asians and Pacific Islanders. With little exception, most of these, I would say, were unplanned pregnancies that caught the mothers off guard and or unprepared. I, I always see it on the faces of my clients when I ask them if their parents were married when they were born. Their whole body language shifts, their continence changes, and I can see shame and embarrassment as they say, I am illegitimate and so are my children. Often my clients will tell me things like, my mother was really young when she had me. She hid her pregnancy from her parents because she was ashamed of me. I was not wanted and I've always felt rejected. I feel guilty for ruining my mother's chances at life. She gave up everything for me and I ended up getting pregnant at the same age she did. Word curses of rejection can right begin as soon as conception. They are the foundation for demonic birth assignments constructed to hinder the child throughout their life. Many clients know their parents considered aborting them, and this knowledge immediately invites demonic spirits of rejection and insecurity to begin their destructive work. I remember when I first started noticing this in one of the clients that I had, and there, I noticed that there was a pattern of these five tormentors. She always felt disconnected. She called herself the black sheep of the family. She isolated herself, she hid in fear as a child. This pattern continued into adulthood as she hid to basically avoid even family gatherings. She had trouble staying connected in church and her devotional time was very hindered. She told me that she had trouble reading the Bible and entering into worship. And when I was praying for her, I actually saw a vision of her mother wearing a huge overcoat. And I asked her, did your mom hide her pregnancy? Um, with you from her parents in shame and she told me that her mother was able to conceal her pregnancy until she was almost due. 
and the root of that torment was her Ill illegitimate conception. And, you know, I have to say, her deliverance was profound. The devil, let's face it, he's no respecter of person, and he'll use any entryway he can to keep God's children from fulfilling their purpose in life. His mission is, is clearly laid out in the Word. It is to kill, steal, and destroy, and we see that in John 10.10. 10. But we know that Jesus came to give us life and life to the fullest. So let's break that birth assignment of illegitimacy off of you today. I'm going to speak out something and I'd like for you to repeat it after me. So I'll go slow. In the name of Jesus, I confess the sin of illegitimacy from my forefathers and declare the power of this inherited curse broken off of my bloodline. I also break the power of any word curses spoken over me of not being wanted. Now go ahead and if you know those word curses or there's things and you know who spoke them, go ahead and just speak them out and I'll give you a few seconds here to do that. I also break any unknown curses and those I have spoken over myself. I cancel the assignment of every spirit of rejection, isolation, insecurity, abandonment, and shame from these curses and declare that you have no hold over me in Jesus Christ's name. Now declare these things out loud. I am a child of the King. I am loved. I was planned by God. He knew me before he formed me in my mother's womb. I am blessed, not cursed. I am embraced, not rejected. I am free. This declaration is going to begin a new journey for you on the road to freedom. And your next steps may include a deeper road to deliverance. It's time for you to reconnect. And we are only a Skype clip away. I pray this helped you today and have a blessed week.